as you watch this segment. Think about the different types of plant and animal life found in each ocean zone. Even though oceans cover more than 70% of Earth's surface, until recently, very little was known about ocean life. That's because exploration of the deepest zones of the ocean is complicated by near-freezing water temperatures, extremely high water pressure, and complete darkness. Using submersibles, researchers are beginning to discover exciting information about the amazing diversity of underwater life. You might think of the ocean floor as sandy and flat, but it is actually shaped by mountains, plains, valleys, ridges, volcanoes, and just about every other geologic feature we see on land. If you started at the shoreline and moved out into the water, you would notice that the ocean floor slopes gently downward. This part of the ocean floor is called the continental shelf. The water above the continental shelf is relatively shallow, averaging about 130 meters deep. This water is called the neuritic zone. It extends from the coastline to the outer edge of the continental shelf. The neuritic zone is shallow enough that sunlight can reach all the way to the bottom. This sunlight enables photosynthesis to take place in this zone. With photosynthesis, there's an abundance of plant life, most of which is phytoplankton. These tiny organisms form the basis of the marine food web. Microscopic animals called zooplankton eat the phytoplankton, and in turn, they are eaten by small fish, which are then eaten by larger and larger fish. You might recognize some of the larger animals in the food web. Sharks, tuna, sea turtles, dolphins, seals, and whales. But many fascinating lesser known creatures dwell below the sunlight zone and survive in a very different environment. Beyond the continental shelf is the continental slope. It marks the end of the rocks that make up the continent and the beginning of the deep ocean basin. The uppermost part of the continental slope is an area of the ocean called the transition zone. Some sunlight penetrates to this zone although it is generally not enough to support many photosynthetic organisms. Many animals here eat organisms that drift down from the neuritic zone. Others actually swim upward at night to feed in the nutrient-rich waters. Octopuses, squids, lanternfish, rattailfish, viperfish, jellyfish, and hatchetfish swim in the upper transition zone. Fewer creatures live in the lower areas of the transition zone. In these darker waters, less prey is available. Like this hatchetfish, some fish have enormous eyes so that they can see in the dark. Creatures that live here have other adaptations including sharp fangs, as seen on this fang-toothed fish, or large mouths, as seen on this gulper eel, to help them catch food. Many have slender or transparent bodies, like this squid, that help them hide from predators. Other fish are colored to help them blend in better with the dark water. Some animals that live in this zone make their own light with bioluminescence, such as this deep-sea anglerfish. Bioluminescence is light produced by a chemical reaction. Bioluminescence is a beneficial adaptation in many ways. It allows fish to identify other fish of the same species so they can find a mate, to scare away predators, and to trick or attract prey. 